let us understand the nature of image formation with the help of this portable optics workbench we will use this rectangular aluminum pipe as our base this ruler will help us in measuring distance of the object as well as an image formed in the process holders enable the movement of light source lens and the screen This stand holds the lens in place. Let us place the convex lens with a diameter of 50 mm. We can slide it on either side of the center like this. lens can be positioned upward as well as downward with the help of these nuts screen has markings to help us in measuring the size of an image formed this stand holds the screen This is our light source a set of 9 LEDs powered from the USB port or a power bank When all LEDs are lit letter T is formed distance between each led is 1 cm now let us look at the image formation when convex lens is used in all there are six scenarios we will take help of this simpop simulation to understand each scenario better let us look at the first scenario object when it is placed at infinity forms a very small real and inverted image at a focal point Let us hold a stand inside the room and aim it through the door at a distant tree. Rohit is moving the screen towards the lens till he gets a very sharp image. As this image can be projected on the screen, it is real image as well. As you can see, image is highly diminished. and inverted in this case focal length of the convex lens we are using is 15 cm we will cover second scenario later let's look at the third scenario first in this scenario object is placed at 2f that is twice the focal length in our case 30 cm now let's bring in our light source and place it here it is 30 cm from the lens we'll adjust our screen till we get a sharp image screen is now at 30 cm from the lens on the other side as we can project it on the screen it is real image as well as you can see image is inverted its size is the same as that of our light source markings on the screen help us here one more thing you must have noticed colored leds have switched positions on the screen Now let us look at the second scenario. 
placing the object beyond depth away from the lens. We will move the light source at a distance of 35 cm from the lens and move the screen till we get a sharp image. In this case, screen is at a distance of 25 cm. Image is small, real and inverted. In the fourth scenario, let us place our light source between 2F and F. That is 25 cm in our case. Sharp image can be seen at a distance of 35 cm. It is slightly bigger, real and inverted. When a light source is placed 15 cm from the lens, image is formed at infinity. We can project it on the wall and see the image here. It is still real and inverted, but its size is huge. When we move the light source further towards the lens, say at 10 cm, we don't get a real image, which we can project on the screen. As you can see in this simulation, it is virtual one. It is enlarged and erect, not inverted just like previous scenarios we saw. We can replace the lens with smaller focal length as well. How about covering the top side of the lens? What will you see? You still see the complete letter T, but its intensity is reduced. This can be attributed to the number of rays which are reaching the lens. You can also move the light source sideways or up and down and find out how image changes its location. Now some variations. Instead of screen, we can attach a small paper to the stand and take the workbench outside. Now we can focus sun rays and draw a small letter L. Intense heat of the rays burns the paper locally when placed at a distance of 15 cm, which is nothing but the focal length of the lens. You can use butter paper instead of regular screen. As it is translucent, image formation can be observed from both sides. This is good for the classroom demonstrations.
flash light of the phone, candle can be good alternative to the light source we used earlier. It was fun to tinker with so many things as a part of this activity, sharing some versions which did not make through. Have a nice day. Thank you.